Hi, my name is Allison and I'm an animal keeper here at Woodland Park Zoo. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the greatest of all time rock climber, the mountain goat. Let me introduce you to our friends. Way up high on the rocks you're going to see Zeus. He's our adult male and he is three years old. On the far left side you're going to see Atlin, who's our five-year-old female. Zeus and Atlin gave birth to Luna, who is our spring baby from last year. She's going to be turning one year old on May 15th. The more medium-sized goat that you see kind of in the middle there, that's Hera and she's two years old. So what is it that makes these animals such adept climbers? The answer is biological adaptations. Let's start from the ground up. The structure of a mountain goat's feet makes them well adapted to climbing on alpine terrain. Mountain goats are even-toed ungulates, which means they have hoofed feet with two independent toes. Their hooves are analogous to our fingernails, which essentially means that mountain goats are climbing on their tiptoes, which means they can balance on very narrow ledges along the mountainside. Under their hoof is a rubbery foot pad, and it is concave in shape. So the combination of a thick outer hoof and a rubbery concave foot pad creates a suction cup effect, which is really helpful for them to attach themselves to the mountainside and climb with ease. Above their hoof, you'll notice a dew claw, which can act as emergency brakes. It's an extra projection of their hoof, which can help if they do slip down the mountainside. Well-developed neck and shoulder muscles means that they have the strength to propel themselves uphill. The goat's sure-footedness helps them escape from predators in the wild. Cougars and wolves are not as well adapted to climbing such rocky terrain, and the best way for goats to survive is to escape from these predators by climbing to greater heights. Both males and females have two black horns, which they can use as extra defense if they get too close to these predators. With eyes on either side of their head, mountain goats have a really good field of vision, which means they can spot potential danger from far away. Thick wool coats keep these animals protected from harsh mountain conditions. A dense undercoat plus an overlayer of thicker hollow hairs means they're well insulated and can survive in temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees and winds gusting up to 100 miles per hour. Mountain goats are endemic to North America. Their natural range is Alaska, Washington, Idaho, and Montana. Introduced populations exist in Colorado, South Dakota, Utah, and Nevada, to name a few. The conservation status of the goat in the wild is a complicated story. In certain parts of their natural range, populations are in decline. However, in these areas where humans have introduced goat populations, the goats can actually threaten local wildlife and plants in that area because of overgrazing, trampling vegetation, and competing with other animals. Here at Woodland Park Zoo, we are able to provide them with the nutrition that they need. In the wild, mountain goats would be foraging for grasses, lichens, and low shrubs. Here at Woodland Park Zoo, we provide them with a complete grain diet. We also supplement them with produce such as romaine, apples, carrots, and sweet potatoes. In order to mimic their natural diet, we provide hay and fresh browse. Some of their favorites include sword fern and viburnum. Of course, the goats are also provided with a large salt block to make sure that they're getting those nutrients as well. Another benefit of living at Woodland Park Zoo is the healthcare. We have vet staff on grounds every day. Keepers are well skilled at looking at behavioral changes in the individual to look for signs of illness and injury. Another thing that keepers do is weigh our goats every month. Right now, Luna is about 100 pounds and we're getting to watch her grow every day. Zeus and Atlan weigh about 190 and Hera is 120 pounds. It's amazing to me to think that an animal this dense and heavy is able to scale up the mountain with such ease. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about mountain goats. And remember, don't be like an invasive mountain goat. Stay on the trails when you're out hiking and preserve the lands for future generations.